These damn dirty apes won't be stopped anytime soon. Take your sticking paws off me, you damn dirty ape! Following the acquisition of 20th Century Fox by Disney, Fox recently announced that future Planet of the Apes films are in development. With this information at hand, we would love to talk about the possibilities regarding the next installments within the film series. Come. That having been said, since we will go into detail regarding the previous Apes movies, a spoiler warning is in effect. You have been warned. Go! It is safe to say that the Planet of the Apes films have had quite the development throughout the last couple decades. Oh shit, there goes the planet. What started as a dystopian science fiction classic starring Charlton Heston took a more ridiculous route with some of its many sequels. Human mutants that worshipped a nuclear bomb and time traveling apes became part of the mythology. You However, it was the 2001 Tim Burton reboot that jumped the shark according to many critics and fans of the franchise. <laughs> While the practical effects, costume design, scope and size of the picture were more than impressive, a lackluster script that featured one of the single most bizarre twist endings of all times genuinely angered longtime fans of our favorite simians. That is why people generally rolled their eyes when it was announced that the franchise would be rebooted once more in 2011. However, most of the naysayers, including myself, were genuinely blown away by the new approach that focused on the origin of the super intelligent apes, featured state of the art visual effects and mainly concentrated on character development rather than over convoluted plot lines. What made Rise of the Planet of the Apes such a success was the fact that for the very first time the apes were front and center of the story. Take your stinking bar off me you damn dirty ape! Thus the plot revolved around a little chimpanzee called Caesar who was born special. Well, look at this. His mother was a test subject of a revolutionary drug that meant to be the cure for Alzheimer's. This virus, also known as ALZ-112, drastically increased the intelligence of the test subjects and was passed on to the little Caesar, who grew up among humans that treated him more like family than a pet. But after an incident involving an angry neighbor, Caesar was taken away from his surrogate family. You're gonna stay here now. No. We're not going home right now. As a zoo animal, he was first confronted with other apes, among them the rebellious chimpanzee Rocket, the former circus orangutan Maurice, and the Hulk like gorilla Buck. It was a rough start for Caesar when it came to interacting with other apes, since he outsmarted them and identified more with the human race than his very own. But after witnessing the sheer brutality that the zoo apes faced, he decided to act. He broke out of his enclosure, exposed the other apes to the ALZ-112 and let an escape. With his IQ levels continuing to increase, Caesar eventually even began to speak no! and successfully retreated to the woods where he decided to live with the other apes after the death of Buck. He and his human surrogate father Will parted ways and Caesar emerged as an idol for the other apes. However, that was only the beginning. The 2014 sequel Dawn of the Planet of the Apes revealed that the virus that made the apes smart also wiped out half of the human population of the planet and was therefore designated the simian flu. While the humans found themselves on the brink of extinction, the speaking and highly intelligent apes flourished under Caesar, who started a family of his own including his wife Cornelia, his teenage son Blue Eyes and his infant baby boy Cornelius. But when a group of desperate humans sought Caesar's help in restarting a generator, frictions between him and his lieutenant Koba started to grow. The latter was originally subjected to abuse by humans, who used him as a test subject for numerous experiments. Human work! While Caesar wanted to create an environment in which humans and apes could live side by side, Koba was consumed by rage, shot Caesar and led an attack against the humans, killing everyone in his way, even apes who were loyal to Caesar's cause. <laughs> Ultimately, Caesar managed to confront his former ally, killing him in the process. No! But Koba had already started a war. You will not forgive. 
which unfolded in the 2017 sequel War for the Planet of the Apes. That film took place two years after the events of the last one and explored the battle between the vengeful humans and Caesar's group of apes. I do not start this war. The ruthless colonel infiltrated Caesar's home and murdered his wife as well as his oldest son, which prompted Caesar to go on a manhunt. Accompanied by his three loyal friends, Rocket, Maurice and Luca, the group encountered a little girl who was unable to speak. It was later revealed that her condition was caused by the simian flu that continued to evolve, which is why the survivors of the first wave of the virus were now in danger of turning into primitive beings. The colonel therefore led a war against both the apes and humans who were exposed to the virus in order to save mankind. Caesar also encountered another talking ape called Bad Ape. Bad. Ape. who used to live in a zoo and was a hermit before being introduced to Caesar. During his mission to find the colonel, Luca was killed, Caesar was separated from his friends and ended up being captured by the colonel's forces, who put him in an internment camp where his entire community had already been locked up. Despite physical and mental torture at the hand of the colonel and Koba's former allies that joined his cause, Caesar managed to free his friends and escape with them. But just like Koba before him, Caesar became obsessed with vengeance. I am my Koba. And confronted the colonel only to discover that he had been infected as well. As he tried to escape a war among the humans, Caesar was mortally wounded by an arrow. During his final moments, he managed to lead his apes, including his friends Rocket, Maurice, the human girl which they named Nova, and his infant son Cornelius to a new home before dying. But despite the death of Caesar, director Matt Reeves has been very vocal about continuing the series. And now there are pockets of intelligent apes all over the planet and they didn't have the benefit of Caesar's leadership. And, and Fox recently announced that films are in fact in development. But what could these sequels be about? Well, one option would definitely be the idea of exploring other apes that never even heard about Caesar. Similar to Bad Ape, other apes around the globe also became increasingly intelligent. But did they have a moral compass like Caesar or did they choose Koba's way of handling things? Caesar himself could still be important as his memory continues to influence his friends Maurice and Rocket. But the most interesting character could definitely be Cornelius who barely got to know his father. What was the environment like that this little ape had to grow up in? Did the apes get to keep their new home or was it taken from them? them. We should also not forget about the fact that these new apes movies are meant to be prequels to the Charlton Haston classic. Which is why the spacecraft that will eventually return only to find out that Earth has turned into a planet of the apes was featured in a short scene in Rise of the Planet of the Apes. This is why it seems very likely that most of the apes will turn into violent creatures that begin to capture the now primitive humans. Take your stinking hands off me, you damn dirty human! Only the those who believe in Caesar's vision of unity between the two species will fight for the humans. So as you can see there are still numerous stories to tell. And since we have focused on the apes since the very first film of this new batch of movies, their ultimate turn to the dark side would indicate some terrific storytelling when it comes to character driven plot. What do you think of the future installments of the Planet of the Apes franchise? Or do you believe that the franchise should have died with Caesar? Let us know in the comment section below. And for more original content, check out these videos.